Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Swiss Army Dan coming at you with another Swiss Army Knife video. Today I wanted to look at uh, 84 millimeter versus 91 millimeter Swiss Army Knives. Um, and it's kind of cool that Victorinox pretty much since the get-go has offered like a 3.5 or a 3 and a 1 4 inch version of their knives. Um, you know, I guess one could be for people with smaller hands or that wear tighter pants or just prefer a little bit smaller knife um, but it almost seems unnecessary that they make these uh, two knives that are just a quarter inch apart from each other but it kind of ends up making a difference <laughs> and uh, I'm sure uh, you guys out there uh, have your preferences um, I know there's a lot of diehard 84 millimeter fans there's probably more 91 millimeter knives sold uh, um, so let's just start looking at them. Here is uh, just a standard officer's knife, a Spartan, um, the 91 millimeter version. And then its counterpart is the Tourist. So they're exactly the same tool configuration. It's just one is uh, about a quarter inch shorter than the other. One thing I should note is the, uh, the thickness on these knives, the tools, it doesn't really change. Um, between the 84 millimeter and 91 millimeter knives, you just get a little bit shorter tool with the 84 millimeter. You see it's shorter there, but you turn it over, and they're about the same thickness. Probably are the same thickness for most years. You know, each year they change it a little bit. Not each year, but there's a few changes along the timeline. The 84 millimeter is just shorter. It slips into the pocket a little bit better. It might be better for people with smaller hands. Um, but it's just a little bit more compact. It takes up a little bit less room. Um, here's a, a little bit older tourist with a uh, clip point blade too. It seems like um, there were a lot of 84 millimeter uh, officers knives or tourist made and a bunch of Tinker Smalls like I hardly ever see Tinkers like 91 millimeter Tinkers from the 60s like this is from the 60s this knife here and it's a Tinker Small I really like these older Tinker Smalls because they have the clip point blade they have a file on the screwdriver here which is really cool and adds you know, another tool there without taking up any more space, which is super, super neat. Always like that when that happens. Um, and it's got a scraper on the screwdriver, which adds like another tool. So, so I just think these older uh, Tinker Smalls are so cool. Of course, I like the Tinker too. It was my first uh, Swiss Army knife ever. And uh, yeah, just a, a great pocketable everyday carry. Uh, the, the Tinker is or the Tinker Small it's so cool that you have your choice you know um, a big thing that if you're a Swiss Army Knife collector or enthusiast you know that they don't make the 84 millimeter scissors anymore like they had on the Climber Small here's one right here and uh, an older one too we'll look at this older one um, back then they had the uh, original uh, or, uh, aluminum tip tw uh, tweezers and the five turn corkscrew which is cool um, the spring on these one, th these have been replaced because it would have been just that single leaf back in the day but I love the climber small um, if you're gonna find uh, an, an original uh, Victorinox knife with the 84 millimeter scissors it's usually not gonna have a, a hole in the reamer punch there because around the time they were phasing that in is when they stopped making the uh, 84 millimeter scissors but you know I love the climber and the climber small is just great it's just a little bit you know just a little bit shorter but you can't get the uh, the plus scales. Where's my uh, regular climber? Here we go. Can't get the plus scales on the 84 millimeter though. So that adds uh, ups the game a little bit for the 91 millimeter, and it adds this hook after a while. I really wish it was a file hook like they have on the compact, but the hook's great. I've talked about it before, but you can 
grab things bound with twine with it really easily. You can pick up hot stuff or you know something that you don't want to make contact with your skin. Um, you can stand up your Swiss Army knife, you know, use it as a prop. Um, you can put your pen, like uh, your pen right here, right in there. That's a nice, neat little trick. And then it makes it a little bit easier to write with that way. Um, but yeah, the, the climber's a favorite of mine, and I, I love the climber small too. So, originally they made uh, the golfer. Back in the day, before the combo tool, they just put a small blade right here. But I think in the very early 80s, they introduced this combo tool. And so you just have the combo tool, scissors, and uh, a large blade, and it was called the golfer. It was called the golfer, golfer before that, I believe, too, um, when it just had the... Uh, the small blade so it was like that up until 91 called the golfer then they introduced the compact the compact added a, a file hook and they still made the golfer concurrently with that and they replaced the combo tool with a divot repair tool which is kind of like a little fork tool uh, i don't have one right now but um so they made the golfer for a while too and it was just like the compact but had a divot repair tool instead of the combo tool eventually they phased that out and out and then uh, they only make the compact still no more golfer but this one uh, i had modded actually and added a uh, 84 millimeter saw on it to make it a little bit more outdoorsy <laughs> um one thing I wanted to kind of talk about is I know there's a, a 91 millimeter uh, waiter that they made for a few years. It's discontinued now, but I really wish they'd make a 91 millimeter bantam because they could just use that 91 millimeter combo tool like they put on the compact and a large blade. But here's an Alux and a Celador bantam. But it's so cool because uh, it's super, super slim. And that combo tool gives you four tools right there, plus your uh, plus your large blade. You got a lot of tasks covered that way. Um, good on the go knife or a desk knife, I think the Bantam is. And then for Alox, there's not a, a 84 millimeter version of the 93 millimeter Pioneer, but you get pretty close with a, a Cadet. Only thing that changes is there's not an awl. Instead, you get a uh, a file. A nail file on the cadet. It would be cool to have an, an 84 millimeter version of that uh, all though, wouldn't it? Have a you know compact little uh, pioneer. I think that would be pretty sweet. So anyway, just kind of wanted to uh, talk about some 84 millimeter, 90, 91 millimeter Victorinox knives. Uh, ramble a little bit. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe ding the bell, all that good stuff. Be kind to each other, guys. Swiss Army Dance out.